guys, how are you? Today we're gonna be finally reviewing the Disney collection by Colourpop. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be honest, I was not able to grab every single piece that they released. Some of the stuff was out of stock and I think I was like five minutes late to the actual release. So in five minutes they pretty much were sold out of all the packages and I grabbed what I could. I grabbed most of it, not all of it. We're gonna review what I have. I would say we have like 80% of the collection. I was not able to grab the highlighters because they were sold out. I have a similar highlighter from like a regular collection is the Super Shock Chic Highlighter. They they released also Super Shock Chic Highlighters. They had two shades, Part of Your World and A Smile and a Song. A Smile and a Song online kind of looks similar to this one, which is cheeky. I don't know if it's the same or not, but Colourpop highlighters, Super Shock highlighters are really, really pretty. I assume people that grabbed it really enjoyed it. <laughs> I was able to get the palette. I think I grabbed all the Super Shock eyeshadows. I am missing three lipsticks. I was only able to get Cinderella, Belle and Ariel. And I think I grabbed all the lip glosses. So the way we're gonna do today, we're gonna try the palette and uh, maybe some of the Super Shocks. And I'm gonna do swatches of the lipsticks that I have and uh, swatches of all the lip glosses that I have. Let's start with the palette. So this is the external packaging gorgeous love it gold everything gold i don't know if you heard me saying that i like everything gold well i like everything gold i am absolutely big that fan of the packaging itself so this is super exciting for me the palette is super cute and adorable i like it a lot it has all disney characters on top inside we have 15 eyeshadows and they are very very pretty i assume they were all themed in the you know like disney characters style and most of them kind of pinkish. I'm gonna do another pink eyeshadow look. That's like third in a row or something, but whatever. They have 15 eyeshadows and each pan has one gram or 0.035 ounce. Just to compare, like this one, the recent fall edition has 12 eyeshadows and one gram, but 0.04 ounce. I don't know how this one is, like both of them one gram, but in ounces it's smaller. Like this one is smaller than that one. So it's kind of confusing to me. Color Pop is cruelty three, which is amazing. The eyeshadow palette is kind of pricey. It's $20. I mean, you get three more eyeshadows than normally you would. Like here, you have 12 and here you have 15. So technically you get more eyeshadows. Full collection was $16, which is by 12, $1.33 per eyeshadow. Well, this one is $20 divided by 15. Well, it's the same. The price per eyeshadow is the same. I think we're close enough, so I don't feel like zooming you guys in anymore. So I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush and um, let me just make sure there are no crazy happening with my primer. I'm gonna go in the shade called Grumpy and use it as a transition shade. The eyeshadow is not super powdery. It is pigmented. I can see the color building already. It is super cute shade like super soft and i don't know it kind of reminds me of my childhood for some reason i'm gonna go in the shade triton and use it a little bit lower also as a transition slash crease you know what they smell like they smell like a detergent is it good is it bad I had the palette open and I was not understanding where the hell the smell is coming from, like why it smells like detergent, like, you know, tight kind of thing. But it is the palette that smells like a detergent. That's weird. It looks like it has some shimmer in it. That is so weird. The shade doesn't look like it has any glow in it, but when you start blending, it definitely has some shimmer in it. And it's shiny. Um, I don't know how I feel about it being in my crease. I'm not normally enjoying any um, shiny eyeshadows in the crease, but we're here. Mm, not a big fan. One thing that I see is that there are not that many matte shades in the palette or in general. Be our guess. That's probably the only matte super shock. Everything else looks really glittery and uh, shiny. So I'm gonna go in the last looking like matte shade Abu and really focus in my crease line to deepen it up. I don't really know at this point if it's also shiny or not. Now this one is matte matte. This one is not shiny at all. Everything is blending super 
easy and super nicely. I don't know what happened. We started building it as a pink and then somehow we ended up being more like brick shades, which I'm not mad about it. I feel like it's a very full look right now. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm gonna go in the super shock eyeshadow Be Our Guest. Everything is like a golden theme, like the packaging is all golden. I wanna use this shade. It's a bit uh, shiny. Really, there's like not much to choose from. What the heck? Let me try and see. Maybe it will work. I guess I should be expecting this to be shiny because of Disney and its cartoons and everything, but we're real life people. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the shade Poison Apple and um, see if I can make it work in my outer corner a little bit. I just need some kind of color. Okay, I see that one blending. I mean, it's shimmery, but at least we got something in there. The one thing that I have to say, there is really no fallout right now at this moment, which is amazing. I feel like going in the shade Fairy Godmother, the pink one in the middle. So this one is a little bit chunky. I don't know if you can see, but it is chunky. Uh, maybe I should go for something else. I don't feel like ruining my look, so I want to go to the this shade enchanted rose and see if it's any better oh this one looks better oh i like it it's pretty i have fallout from this eyeshadow i think i wanna use brush instead this is how the eyeshadow is supposed to work when you apply it with the brush my look with anastasia abh i just couldn't pick up it with the brush the eyeshadow and i was so pissed this one is just a dry brush and I have no issues picking the color up. What a beautiful shade. I feel like I want some pop of color still. I'm gonna go in the shade Magic Carpet and try to focus a little bit in the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. I think I, like, I applied <laughs> almost all shadows on my eyes today. I feel like I want some kind of pop of color. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know what I'm gonna do. I want something more. I think I'm gonna go in the shade. So this is love. I don't know, like muted purple shade and just put it in the middle. Hello, where are you? Would you worry about it if I do it with the brush? Yes. I like this eyeshadow, just not with this look in particular. I'm like all covered in eyeshadow at this point, guys. <laughs> I have some fallout. I need to clean the fallout under my eyes and finish with the lower lash. Uh, I'm gonna start with Grumpy. Then I'm gonna go in the shade Triton and do the same thing. And I feel like I wanna go in the shade Magic Carpet and just focus on the outer side. I'm gonna go in the shade Beast and I'm gonna try to intensify And I'm gonna go in the same shade and just uh, focus really close to the lash line on the top. And finish the look. I'm gonna go in this... Ooh, oh, I have a better shade than that. So a few shades came broken and that's kind of really unfortunate. Hey Ho, this shade is... Completely, completely broken, even though it's such a pretty shade. So I'm going to try to press it in. Because I'm still going to use it, I don't care. In the inner corners. <gasps> wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty shade. A little bit chunky, but it's probably because cause it's broken. Yeah, I'm kind of having an issue with that, because I think it's broken. Look how shiny it is. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but... <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna go in the shade Prince Charming, the white shade. See if I have any better luck with that. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, wow. Holy shit, pigment. I'm sorry. It is also super chunky. I think we are done with the eyes. I don't really want to put anything else on my eyes anymore. I think we we'll already have like half of a kilogram <laughs> of eyeshadow on the eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply mascara and lashes on the jazz. And I'm going to come back and we're going to do the swatches and try all the lipsticks. All right, the eyes are done. I applied mascara, lashes and liner. So I'm going to do the swatches right now of all the eyeshadows that we have. The eyeshadows are not swatching the that great. Wow, color pop, what the heck happened? So the first row we have Cheap, Juju, Grumpy, Triton, Abu. The second row we have Prince Charming, Ray, Fairy Godmother, One Kiss, and Think I'm a Bob. Third row we have Enchanted Rose, Poison Apple, Magic Carpet, 
Beast and Midnight Curfew. But for Super Shocks, I have Almost There, Hey Ho, Be Our Guest, So This Is Love, Under the Sea, A Whole New World. Guys, I'm super disappointed with the palette and the eyeshadows. So these are the swatches of the Super Shocks. I like A Whole New World and Under the Sea. They're very much like a pastel colors. I really like this shade actually personally. So this is love. This one, the pinkish one. Hey Ho and Be Our Guest didn't really swatch that great. I'm not sure if Hey Ho has anything to do because it's broken. But Be Our Guest is just so uneventful. I really, really enjoy this brown one called almost there super shocks are kind of missing a hit i really like this one this one is probably my favorite out of all of them i really like the green one it's just something out of ordinary guys the palette is super super duper disappointing and shimmers are chunky mattes don't have really pigment there is really like i mean i had a pigment when i was applying it of course you cannot really judge the palette by swatches but the shimmers just were super uneventful the only two ones that i like are these two they are like if you see them they're gorgeous like this one this one too the enchanted rose i like that one as well like see here this is the one but everything else is just me i don't want to sound like a brat but i paid a little money for this collection to get to my house and everything is just kind of average i mean colourpop does way better like i'm i'm kind of confused what's going on with this shade this one is like it's rich and pigmented but when you swatch it it just crumbles and it, it's a mess and it's also wintering. Honestly, there is really not many mattes to work with. You would need a second eyeshadow palette uh, with mattes that you can work with and use this one purely, mostly as um, as shimmers because most of the shades are glittery. I'm not impressed with this palette at all. I was expecting more. It has so much hype and it just, it's not cutting it for me. Let's move on to the lipsticks. So I have three lipsticks and three lip glosses. As I said, I have Belle, Cinderella and Ariel for the lipsticks. I don't have the other three, which are Tiana, Jasmine and Snow White. These three lipsticks I could not get. They were sold out. They're still sold out. So unfortunately, I don't have them. For the lip glosses, I have Bobby D, Boo and Bibi D. The ultra glossy lips. The funny thing, this is not the first time I'm noticing with Colourpop, some of the packaging arrives broken. And it's kind of interesting to me because it definitely didn't break inside of the box. It was clearly broken before um, it was put in the box. I just hope it was not used because this is not cool, guys. This is not what I want to see when I get a brand new lipstick that I paid. Whatever I paid for it, like I paid $6 and I want the packaging to be intact. And unfortunately, this is not the first time I see something like that from Colourpop. I don't know what is the deal. So I'm gonna apply all the lipsticks on my lips and then uh, followed by glosses and then we're gonna reconvene and I give you my final thoughts on the collection.
guys, all the swatches are done. I really like Ariel and Belle. Cinderella is just not my kind of uh, personal preference. I don't normally wear this kind of color, so even though I think it's pretty. I did apply it a little bit patchy on my lips. I felt like it was missing some opacity for some reason. I don't know if it has to do anything that I didn't remove the previous color properly. Colourpop lipsticks are hit and miss for me. Some lipsticks I like, some just... Um, Settling my lines and not looking good. They're not wearing too well. I have few Lux Colourpop lipsticks that I like, so I'm not really sure how this one perform if they're also hit and miss, the same as previous lipsticks. But so far they're looking pretty cute. Lip glosses are quite interesting. I'm wearing right now blue lip gloss and I like it. I'm wearing it just by itself. It's pretty unpacked um, and it is perfectly fine on wearing on itself. That's the swatch of Boo. This one is Bobbity and this one is Bibbity. Honestly, BBD is just it's super uneventful. It's like a normal lip gloss. I don't really think you need to have this one. If you want, you can have it. But honestly, ColourPop normally lip glosses are not sticky. They're just like feeling almost like um, jaw consistency. This one I found a little bit having this tangy sensation and um, a little bit like, you know, sticking. Out of three lip glosses that I have, I really like Boo. That's the one that I am wearing on my lips. I think it is really, really cute and pretty. I mean, I think all lip glosses are fairly cute and pretty. I think we're done with the review. I'm all covered in glitter. I gotta tell you guys, I'm a little bit disappointed with Disney collection. It has so much hype and I was so excited about the collection. I thought it would be amazing, beautiful. So many people posted about it and I love Colourpop and I reviewed other stuff from Colourpop and I loved it and it kind of pains me to tell you guys that I am not impressed with the Disney collection. The eyeshadows were... eyeshadows were a miss for me. I did create a pretty cute look but as you see I was struggling to find colors that I could put in my crease or in my outer corner to make it deeper. Most of them are shimmers and I guess it's understandable knowing that it is based on the cartoon so you would expect a lot of shimmers, a lot of shine but at some point you have to have some pigment as well in that and some some eyeshadows were super chunky so unfortunately this is a pass for me. I don't think it's worth the hype. I don't think it's worth the dollar bills of yours. For super shock. First thing first, A Whole New World and Hi Ho uh, came broken, unfortunately. Hi Ho looked really really cute when I swatched it and when I tried to work with it, so I'm not really sure if the issue of um, applying the eyeshadow has to do anything that it is broken or not. Out of all the super shocks I like the most, so this is love and almost there. I think they are the prettiest one of the collection. They swatched pretty, they had enough opacity, enough pigment and they're just overall super super cute. So this pretty much summarizes my review of the Disney collection by Colourpop. I wish I could say something more positive but it is what it is. If I don't like it, I don't like it. End of story. I spent my money, I spent a lot of money and I expect it to work. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.